Now let's jump into our video. In this video, we will explore about class seven science, electric current, and its effect, part one, symbols of electric components. Before going to the topic, let's have a quick recap. Electric current, the flow of electric charge through a path is called electric current. It is measured by ammeter. A SI unit of electric current is ampere. Electric circuit. Electric circuit is a closed path along which an electric current flows. Electric current usually flows from positive terminal to negative terminal of a cell. Electric circuit consists of source of electricity, a cell or a battery. In some cases, we may emit uh, more energy with, uh, than, the, than the energy produced by the cell. So we will use the battery. Connecting wires. We may wonder, we can use a wooden strip instead of connecting wires. Why are we not using? It is because a electric wire is a conductor. Only conductors allow electricity to pass through them and wooden strip is not a conductor. So it is an insulator. So it won't allow um, current to uh, pass through them. Uh, and a device uh, that uses electric current, usually we may use a bulb or we, you can use a fan or anything. And um, electric circuit are of two types, open circuit and closed circuit. What is open circuit? Open circuit means that the wires are cut out so there will be no current flow. It may be uh, due to the filament breakage or the switch is in off position. So it is the open circuit and closed circuit. It means the wires are connected, so there will be the flow of electric current. In, the, in that case, there should be a good bulb, which, is, which have a uh, nice working filament, and the battery should be fully charged, and the switch should be on, on position. And now let's jump into a topic. Symbols of basic electric components. Electric components as some symbols to draw a circuit easier and quicker. And we, and we will use electric circuit so that it will be easy to make. Or we have to do, we have to spend a lot of time and hard work. And it won't be neat drawing cells and, fill, uh, and bulbs. It will be, and if we draw with the help of symbols, it will be more neat presentation. If you are drawing like this, you can't spend so much time like this, spending drawing a nice battery or a cell and a bulb key. So we can use this closed circuit. And it is more useful, the most useful for engineer workers. They have large scale to draw. Uh, so they can't be drawing with the, like this. So they will use this symbols to draw a draw quickly electric cell the symbols are electric cell can be written like this and the um, longer line represent positive terminal and the smaller thick parallel line represent negative terminal you have a mark in the electric cell plus plus means positive terminal minus means negative terminal or if the plus and minus mark are not visible you can you can uh, make a nice you can uh, identify it by positive terminal have a cap in its head this small portion but negative terminal have a flat head and uh, an electric wires it can be represented by straight line. Represent by a straight line provides a medium for the flow of electric current 
inne sarkyo it is usually made of made of copper uh, coated with plastic or rubber uh, switch switch or of um, switch can be kept in a uh, closed manner or open manner closed is um, it is in the on position and open means it is in the off position if we keep a switch in the off on uh, closed position or the on position um, the it will be a closed circuit and if the switch is in open position or off position it, it will the circuit will be open circuit so make sure when you are making a circuit may uh, oh, uh, keep the switch in closed position and bulb the main part of the electric circuit which generates and it is more useful for us to study uh, because the light emitted by the bulb is helpful for reading uh, and it, it contains filament that glows when the current is passed and battery battery is combination of two or more cells um, so we, we have to write it with this symbol and uh, they are of two types primary cells and secondary cells primary cells primary battery uh, cannot be reused and the examples are dry cell daniel cell and many more dry cell we will use um for activities we you we prefer dry cell and it is a type of primary cell it cannot be reused and secondary cells secondary cell is that which can be used again and again by recharging it uh, like batteries in cars inverters and the mostly preferred mobile phones and laptops and there is a procedure how to connect two cells to form a battery we have to connect the positive terminal of the cell and the negative terminal of the cell so only the energy will be produced or if we connect negative to negative or positive to positive it never works out and or we uh, if you do not want to have hardware connecting like this you can use a cell holder um the cell holder um is a thing that can connect multiple cells and this is a cell holder this image and it is easier for us it has um, a flat side and a spring like side the spring like side should be kept to uh, uh, should be kept to negative terminal and the flat side should be connected with the positive terminal so keep it proper thank you friends if you like this video subscribe my channel thank you